drip irrigation essentials. Here's a couple of essential things that are really important if you want your system to work well for the long term. Number one, install a filter at the start of the system or at the start of every station. Doesn't matter whether it's at the bore or the mains, just do it. Number two, see that grey valve there? That's a vacuum breaker or air release valve and this stocks suck back. If you don't have one of these, what happens is when the system shuts off, the pipes want to fill back up with air and they fill up with air by sucking air in through the dripper hole, which can clog them up with dirt. Put one of these at the highest point on every station in line off a T-piece. Number three is this is a flush valve. You want to have one of these at the end of every line on your system. Okay, A lot of people make the mistake of only putting one of these in and they'll have a plugged point at an, the other end of the garden where dirt can build up. For the first 30 seconds the system shuts on, well, the time actually varies a little bit, but this will flush out any dirt automatically from the system and then just shut itself off. These are brilliant, but make sure you put one of these at the end of every line, preferably at the lowest point of the system. Okay, add in plenty of good topsoil. Sand will not hold water, it'll just drip through. So if you want the best results, put some great quality soil in, as when the drip irrigation lets the water out, the water will spread out through the good soil. So that works really, really well. All right, put your spacings correctly. Put enough spacings in. Don't stretch the drip line. How many systems just have one line of drip line running through some plants? Put extra rows of drip line in more thirsty gardens. And wherever you've got large trees or thirsty trees like magnolias, put loops of drip line around them. Start with a small one, then go to a larger one, then go to a larger one. You know, you might want to have as many of, as 10 loops of drip irrigation depending on the type of tree. Trees need a lot of additional water, so just put enough drip irrigation in. That's one of the biggest mistakes I make, people make. All right, and as you can see, this garden is doing pretty well around a year or so later. There's a thick layer of mulch that's been added. Again, this is important. This stops the drip irrigation showing through, preferably around 100 mil. And for some systems, you may need a pressure regulator as pictured here.